A stolen pickup truck crashes in Boston's North End after a wild chase that began in New Hampshire. Good evening, I'm Lauren Lemanchek. Thanks for joining us. This is a story you will only see on WBZ. Jim Smith is live in the North End, and Jim, there could be a whole lot more to this story. There just might be, Lauren. Police are still checking out a claim by one of the men in a stolen pickup truck that the other guy kidnapped him. Like I said, they're still checking all of that out. But this much is true. There was a huge police chase totaling 30 miles from Salem, New Hampshire, all the way down to here in the North End. And amazingly, nobody was hurt or killed. They whipped right in here to the side, and that's when we all stood up and watched. Andrew Kahn was spending a relaxing Sunday on Boston Harbor when the peace was suddenly shattered by a speeding pickup truck. A truck being chased by state police who got a report it was stolen in New Hampshire. Witnesses describe a wild scene when the truck crashed at Union Wharf in the north end with two men inside. You could hear the car coming down Commercial Street, and he went through the barrier up here at uh, the wharf, came flying up through there, slammed into the curb and stop and then the two guys got out and bailed at one point right before it was stopped the truck came tearing through this gate smashing right through it and leaving it splintered on the ground a surveillance camera captured this image of one of the suspects bolting from the scene he's carrying a light green shirt the same shirt he was wearing a short time later when WBZ got this exclusive video of state police catching up with him outside TD Garden Police say 33-year-old Michael Daniels of Peabody had a pellet gun on him when they arrested him. Back at the scene, the other man in the truck was also taken away in a cruiser. One witness told me that man said he had been kidnapped, a claim he also made to police. As the truck was towed away, neighbors said it was amazing no innocent bystanders were hurt or killed. It's very uh, congested and people coming by here all the time. A car speeding in here at high speed could, could have really hurt somebody. We're yeah. very lucky. Certainly was a wild scene here in the North End and further up the road as well. Police say this stolen pickup truck also sideswiped another vehicle up at Route 495, but luckily nobody was hurt there either. At least one of these suspects will be in court tomorrow. Live in the North End, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Lauren, back to you. All right, Jim, thank you.